good for that. Starting off with the Bidoof isn't too bad, considering that we have Arvid in hand and they've just mulliganed, so... Gardevoir. This deck has seen a lot of more meta play. I'm seeing it at Locals as well, so... This is going to be great gameplay for the Toxic Rogue deck. Good way to test it out. We were able to beat Future, now let's see if we can beat Gardevoir. Thankfully, we won't get knocked out this turn. Buddy Poffin is a great start for them. Double routes, very nice. Very, very nice. And an Arvin, wow. Wow. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's do this. Let's go ahead and obviously do a Buddy Poffin. And we'll do a Rocky... Actually, let me get a Devolution, just in case they rare candy into those Gardevoirs. And then we'll do a Buddy Poffin, grab our Pidgey and our Crow Gunk. And then... We will do an Earthen Vessel. Starting the dark energy here. Grabbing two dark energy. Hitting the crow gunk with the dark patch. Another energy there. And then we can Iono on the follow up. And I'm comfortable with this. Yeah, I'm comfortable with this play here. There it is. Devolution is going to be cracked. Get rid of their rare candies. Okay. Professor's research. Bosses, order, tulip. Dang, tulip's pretty cracked. Ooh, very nice. Here we go. And... Yeah, we'll do that. Then we'll Iono. Reset the hand for both of us. Get... Oh, yeah, let's go. Alright, let, let's see. Do we potty... Do we buddy poffin again? Yeah, let's, let's buddy poffin again. Uh, we'll get another... Crow Gunk, and we have... I don't want to put a Bidoof in there, stack up... You know what? Yeah, we'll put Bidoof and stack it up down there, because we might lose this Bid Barrel. And then I'll do this, and... No, I'm keeping the Pal Pad. And I'll send the Toxic Cloak. And I will... Get my... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, let's go a Pidgeot. And rub candy into the Pidgeots. Oh my gosh. Let's pal pad. Yeah, get a full five. Reset that full five here. And then we'll incisors. Oh, let's go. Let's go here. Yeah, and then let's go ahead and get our... Let's get our Perilous Jungle. Since we're going to poison our opponent. And we'll end it here, and now in the follow-up, hopefully we can do some heavy damage. Getting your... Getting your setup, right? Your poison setup up, and then literally just sniping with Toxic Rogue and knocking every Pokemon out with extreme high damage from the poison effects. So that, that's the goal right now. Let that be barrel get knocked, I, I don't care. We'll hopefully be able to go into another bit barrel and then we'll be able to get our uh, Sneasler onto the bench and just do some really high poison effect damage.
Okay, now we got Iono, we got a double turbo and Pidgeot on board. We can go ahead and reset our hand so that we can draw five and get some really good setup here. But first, before I do that, I'm actually going to try to switch up the strategy, keep the bit barrel alive and swap it with a, yeah, we'll swap it here. And then what we'll do is no need of poison anymore since their guard war is already poisoned. I can hit bit barrel for an incisors. And we got our Sneasler in hand, which I'm very sad by, but it's all good. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and, you know, Turo would have been nice right now. Let's grab another double turbo energy so that we can start building up our, our second Toxic Rope here. I'm going to go ahead and hit this for 240 stack it up with its poison counters. Do an additional 60 damage and it's a quick, easy knockout. Unfortunately, with the Gardevoir deck, Toxic Rope already has the advantage being a dark type. It's just doing super effective damage on all of these Pokemon. Arguably useless against the Toxic Croak deck. And so is Manaphy. Manaphy is completely useless. I would have not loaded up Manaphy onto the board, to be honest. I would have actually discarded Manaphy to draw those, the two. Jacques. Two Gardevoirs and a Curlia. Or one Gardevoir and a Curlia. That's cool. I think I'll boss that. <laughs> Gonna bring out the Gardevoir, I would assume, and then use Psychic Embrace. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and boss the Gardevoir. And then let's go ahead and poison ourselves. And then let's grab. I was gonna I was gonna say let's grab a toxic code, but you know what? I'm going per perilous jungle. Yeah, hit it for three instead. Then I'll attach that here. And I'm pretty much set for a swing. A 240 swing. I believe I should knock it out. Could be knocked out. Yep. Let's go. This was unfortunately an easy matchup for us. A bad matchup for them. Just because, again, super effective. Dark to the psychic. That Iono is actually going to help me a lot. Iono does not does not hurt when you've got Bit Barrel and Pidgeot already on bench. It, it actually just helps me be just. It allow me to get better cards now. This is GG. I don't see my opponent coming back from this. So I would personally I would scoop here. They've got no energies. Just getting a bunch of basics back. I would I would assume maybe get some Gardevoirs back. Probably only run three Gardevoirs. So it'd be a good idea to get the Gardevoirs back. Yeah. I just like Radiant Greninja so much, especially in Lost Box. No, not Lost Box, Ancient Box. Yeah, it is such a pain. I, I really don't see what they're going to do here. I'm trying to I'm trying to imagine what their play will be. But the minute they bring out a Rule Box Pokemon, I'm knocking it out for a game. Ooh. That was huge! <laughs> Alright, let's get our Pidgeot up. Okay, let's go ahead and get our Poison up. Let's get our Arvin up. Uh, let's get a Dark Patch. Oh. Dark Patch and a Four Seal Stone. Get our Dark Patch. Put it here. 
Get our energy, hit it there. And let's do barrel real quick, some incisors. Oh, very, very nice. And I won't be bringing out the Rotom, there's no reason to. Bring this out, actually. Yeah, 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 no, 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 let's see. Yeah, okay, I figured. There's nothing that they can do to come back, so GG. All right, so we beat Future, we beat Guard of War. There's one more game left so that you can see that Toxic Rope can be a meta contending deck. Okay, the last match of the game, and yes, we always want to go first so we can get those energies attached ASAP. Oh, what a starting hand. Let's go. Let's go. This is pretty darn good. Energies and Krogunk and Rotom. Pretty darn good. And we're going first, so that we're going to get that instant charge. Caps a kid. I remember these. These do some pretty crazy damage. in charge here. Got our Arvin, and we got a Nest Ball, and our Barrel. Nice. Popping. Trying to set up right now. Whoa. Powder again. And we're loaded for three. I mean, they're playing a really slow deck.
Yeah, I mean, clearly they don't mind. At least this way I can just start knocking the Pokemon out. Sneasler and swing for 120, hit it with that poison. One more attack should knock it out. I'm not entirely sure what the uh, end game for this Venusaur deck is. Just stall out, deck me out, I guess. Since I'm at 21, they're at 33. Here it comes. Dang, 180, that's gonna knock me out. All right, we got this here. And we got this here. Go ahead and knock this thing out. Got a boss there. And let's go ahead and swing. Yeah, I'm good. Ah. Let's go. Sure. Let me get the double turbo already. Yeah, let's see. I should just go for Iono. I think that's what I'm going to do next turn. Go for Iono. Cool. Stay burned. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Go ahead and knock that. And get both of our bosses back. And then let's go ahead and... You know what? I want to... I don't want to risk it. I'm just going to put it on the Pidgeot. And then I'm going to search out a boss. And I think we're pretty much good here. Let's go ahead and hopefully knock this thing out. I think we do. Yeah, I think we do. Yeah. Quick, easy knockout. And then the next Pokemon we knock out is going to be the Venusaur. So, I mean, against meta decks, it's pretty good. Against rogue decks, it's pretty good. And against mid tier, tier 2 decks, Toxic Crow can really hold it up. The only issue is that when you do take this to a sanctioned event, because it's best out of two, or best out of three, I'm sorry, they're probably going to go set game two. And if you get to game three, they're probably going to go and try to knock out your Brew Bonnet and your Radiant Sneezlers. But this is game for us. Let me know what you all think in the comments below. Did you like this video? Is this a deck that you want to see more in the meta? I know Poison is going to get a lot more support in the next set. At least that's what I've been hearing. Correct me if I'm wrong. And it's just a great deck. I really love playing this deck. Toxic Croak is probably one of my favorite Pokemon decks so far since I've been testing it out. And I really hope that this encourages you to build outside of meta. And to test this deck out as well. Quick, easy knockouts. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe to get us onto that YouTube algorithm. This is 
your host, Low Tier Hero. And until next time, thank you so much for the time that you've given me here. And take care. See you all soon.